Hey everyone, this is Tony Reeves. If you like my content or have any suggestions, please let me know. And by all means, make sure you share. The only way I can get my word out is you help me get the word out as well. Hey everyone, this is Tony Reeves, and this is a Reeves point of view. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why is there not more of a discussion about how to get the COVID-19 stimulus to the homeless. There's been a lot of discussion that you've seen on television and radio or online about making sure that the COVID-19 stimulus package in terms of dollar amounts gets to the people who actually need it. We talk a lot about those people who are applying for unemployment, who are, who are waiting for that money to run out. We hear a lot of discussion about the small business owner, a lot of discussion about the dollar amount, making sure that it doesn't go to people who don't need it. And all those discussions are important. But what I haven't heard is what is the effort to reach the homeless? Now that may be a uniquely county, state, or local thing, but I haven't heard that discussion made yet. And why is that important? because these are the people who are the most vulnerable and reaching out and getting them the need that the, the money they need is crucial. But here are some other crucial points that you need to keep in mind. First is that some of these people don't have an address, hence homeless. And I know sometimes it's easy to say, oh, they can always refer to a family members or maybe an agency will, will hold the address for them and so forth. But some of those people don't have that infrastructure and may not know that is an option that's available to them. So how do you reach out to them to ensure that that is an option that there's, that's available to them? I can tell you that I've had people that I've worked with when I was an attorney who would get their mail through the general delivery mailbox. That means everybody is getting their mail dumped there. So I'm not sure how that actually works. So then if they don't have the ability, if they don't have a family member or a friend or, or maybe a, a worker who can receive mail on their behalf, how are you going to mail them a check? Same thing with regards to a bank account. I'm fairly confident, I can't say definitively, but if you're homeless, you're holding on to your money as much as possible. So then how are they going to have money that, a bank account that money could be directly deposited into? The answer is probably not. So again, we have another issue that you have in front of us where they can, getting mail to them may be difficult and having money directly deposited into their account may be difficult because they may not have an account. Again, two things that are equally crucial. I know there's a lot of talk about filing of the taxes, but let's just be clear. If somebody is homeless, there's a definitive chance that they're off the grid. That means that's a nice way of saying they're not availing themselves of any of the services or systems that may utilize to, to run people down. Think about it. You have a driver's license, they can run you down from that. So security number, kind of, but mostly, you know, your driver's license, say, where you have an ID on it, if you file taxes, whether it be state or local, all of those are different avenues by which individuals can locate you. Well, if you are not filing any taxes, if you don't have a driver's license, if you don't have any insurance, if you don't have any of those different things of identification, then how are you actually finding those people? And then appreciating the fact that they're the most vulnerable. But here's another point that's equally important. What is this gonna do for them? Let me just be clear. Nobody's gonna turn money away if you don't have any money. But here's the thing that kind of bothers me about this is that it's a short-term fix for people who are already in a devastating situation. So how does that help them? I mean, so if you find someone who's homeless and you give them $1,800, okay, meaning $1,200 for this and then $600 for the second one, how does that help them going further? How does that help them out of their homeless situation? Can they use that money and maybe use it to transition into public housing? Is there a way that they could utilize that to connect it to program that allows them to stretch that money over a period of time for purposes of food, housing, and shelter? How does that even work? I have heard so much about helping the American people, but what I haven't heard is what are we gonna do about helping the most vulnerable people, our homeless population? And so I'm hoping that the next round of COVID-19 or the next round of stimulus that comes into play that we hear a more aggressive and full-throated approach in terms of what do we need, what can we do 
to truly reach out and provide long-term assistance to the most vulnerable population so they can transition into a world where they don't need the assistance as opposed to just giving them one shot, one kill type of